Hey, oh, say hi. Hi. Like, hi. Good job, guys. Way to go. Good boy. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, guys.
we're gonna show you how Piper does for her off-leash hikes. Ready, Piper? Let's go. Good boy. So I'm gonna start off with a high rate of reinforcement, rewarding him every time he checks in. And then as I see that I'm getting success and he's staying nice and close, I can start to lower that rate of reinforcement. I wanna to try to find the sweet spot between rewarding enough so that he does check in here and there, but not so much that he never leaves my side. The whole point of coming out for a hike is so that he can sniff and explore and be a dog. So we do wanna encourage lots of that, but we wanna also have a connection with him and know that he's gonna check in here and there. Now, as I'm fading the treats, it's important to make sure I do still acknowledge the check-ins with affection and praise sometimes, even if I'm not gonna give a treat every time, because I do need to maintain some reinforcement history for the behavior so that he'll continue to offer it. If I start to ignore it, just because I don't wanna give a treat every time, I'm gonna to start to lose that behavior, which is actually what we recommend for attention-seeking behavior. So things like jumping up for attention or barking at you for attention, we walk away or we leave when they're doing that so that they learn that that doesn't work to give anything so that they'll give up on those behaviors. But that's not what we wanna have happen with the check-ins. We do want him to continue to check in here and there. Um, so we need to maintain some reinforcement history for it. Out here, I'm mostly just using kibble for Piper because we've worked together a lot in this environment and had lots of practice here. It's really easy for him to make the choice to check in and work with me. So I don't have to use a lot of higher value treats, but anytime you go somewhere new where there's more exciting smells and sights and distractions, you're gonna need to switch it up for some higher value treats. So things like chicken, hot dog, liver, cheese, the idea is you want your best value treat to trump anything it's gonna find in the environment so that whenever we ask him to do something, he happily does it, expecting to get the best outcome from us. Good boy. As we're building up this reinforcement history that all the best stuff comes from us, it's important to let your dog drag a long line to prevent him from running off and self-rewarding in the environment. So what I mean by that is if I go somewhere new and he runs off chasing birds and squirrels and having a great time doing it, that's what he's gonna find reinforcing. So that's what he's gonna to continue to do whenever he gets into that kind of an environment. So what we need to do to prevent that is start him on a long line so that he doesn't have the access to self-reward in the environment while we jackpot him for lots of recalls and leave it and checking in lots. And then as we see that he's reliably listening to all our cues, then we can think about fading that line as we get success. But anytime things start to come apart, go back to using that long line go back to building up more reinforcement history for responding reliably to all these cues and then we can start to think about fading that line as we get success. Good boy, go play. I've hidden on Piper, we're gonna do an out of sight recall. Piper, come! Good boy. Yay, good job. All done, go play. So it's not just about food, it's also about coming out and playing fun games with your dog so that you're really fun and exciting to work with. I like to play hide and seek with these guys. We hide on them, we call them. When they come, we give them a good treat and we say, go play. Now sending them to go play is a really important part of the equation because we don't want them to learn that recall ends the fun. And that's a common mistake that a lot of puppy owners make. They only use their recall when it's time to leave somewhere fun and then the dogs start to clue in and that's a negative for them. So they start to resist coming when called because they don't want the fun to stop. So what we need to do to prevent having that happen is do lots of recalls where they come, they get a treat, we say go play, and they get to keep playing so they learn it doesn't end the fun. If it actually is time to leave somewhere fun, what I do is call them and leash them, give them a treat, tell them to go play, let them keep playing for a little bit while they're wearing their leash. And then after a few minutes of them playing while they're dragging their leash, just pick up the end of that leash and say let's go or this way or something else that is not the word come because we don't wanna make a negative association with that word come. Along the same lines, don't use the word come to do anything your puppy might not like. So I don't use the word come to do their nails or to get them to go in the bath. I also don't use the word come to get them to do something that they seem unsure about. So if Piper was nervous about going through a certain doorway or across a certain surface, I would encourage him to do it for cookie tosses or a kibble trail or something so that he can figure out how to do it himself without using that word come because I don't want to risk making a negative association with that word come. We want the association with that word to be like hearing the music of the ice cream truck. They come racing and expecting a really good treat and they don't even think about it. They just come flying and expecting the fun to happen. They get a good treat. We say all done and go play and they get to keep playing. Piper's gone off ahead here. I'm gonna change directions and let him know with the this way cue. Piper, this way! Yes, good boy, all done, go play. 
So realistically, the reward for this way doesn't have to be a food reward. It is really just a cue to follow and having fun in another direction could be the reward for the this way cue. But if he turns on a dime and comes racing in like he did, I do like to give a food reward to encourage a nice fast response like that in the future. Good boy, Piper, go play.